on today's episode we'll be talking about the Marvel comic book universe and some of the things that have been happening lately. Um, what do you guys think about the rumours of a new female Thor coming into the Marvel Now universe? Um, I heard this in Asda in Dagnum of all places over the Tannoy, uh, which is, you know, pretty cool that Marvel stuff and things like that is becoming mainstream and being talked about in Asda <laughs> of all places. So, um, it was quite cool to actually hear it there. I was like, what? Okay. And then I had to go on the Marvel website and have a little look. Um, I'm quite positive on the idea in some ways, but then a bit leaning towards the negative in others because myself as a comic book fan, when they start shaking stuff up a bit too much, I, mm, I, I like it, but then I don't like it, if you get what I mean. Like the, the traditional body swap episodes. I liked them when they first kept doing them in Spider-Man, you know, like Spider-Man's brain goes in Dr. Octopus and, and then Spider-Man goes in, becomes a comedian, comedian for an episode and things like that. I liked that for a while, but then it just got a bit, yeah, it's old hat. But I enjoyed the fact that um, this announcement, and it made me uh, think and want to look up some stuff. Uh, I like the idea of it. Uh, because it's going to boost sales, uh, it promotes Marvel in the universe, in the in the world, uh, you know, and that's that's a great thing. Um, they've done it before with Thor because at one point he was a frog, and at another point he was a Hulk, a version of Hulk. I'm sure I've seen that somewhere. Um, and they've done the same to Loki. Uh, the other year Loki was a girl, uh, and, and then they turned him into a teenage boy. So, yeah, is it just to boost ratings or is it for a good storyline? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, will this affect the film universe once Chris Helmsworth gets fed up? Who knows? Uh, it's the same in Captain America. You know, will the guy who plays Bucky become the new Captain America once the cast get fed up? Um, what do you think is going to happen with Scarlett Johansson once she ha gives birth to her baby? Will they bring in Black Widow Mark II? Because there's always been more than one Black Widow. It's like a Russian spy network, so there's like at least a hundred of them, I guess. So it's like a version of S.H.I.E.L.D., but Russia. Hello, cat. So it's like a secret organisation. Uh, so there's like there's at least five or six of them, maybe tons more. So what do you think? Do you think eventually they'll just start changing up the characters? Like... Hawkeye goes and then Vision comes in, things like that. What do you guys make of it? Let me know. Um, I'm really hyped up for Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm looking forward to that. And of course Avengers 2. That's going to be fantastic. What do you make of the fact that they've used Scarlet Witch and... <laughs> oh God. What do you make of the fact that they're using the two characters like Scarlet Witch and that in Avengers and then they used him in X-Men, Days of Future Past as well. What do you make of that? Do you think it was a good idea? Do you think they've had to make Pietro into a different name? Do you think that's good? Shouldn't they have just sort of joined the companies again like they should have done with Spid like all the spider Mets, Things like that. Oh, it's so annoying that Spider-Man is not owned by Marvel. Your views, gentlemen and ladies. Okay, I'm going to go because I'm rambling, talking gibberish, but let me know what you think. Okay, and uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and add, and tell your friends. Ta-ra.